Well, that's almost the way your soul and spirit are, is that they have been, they are connected to the point where they have kind of grown together because there has to be a point where soul touches spirit. Do you, do you get that? In other words, if it wasn't, your soul would be gone, right? Or your spirit would be gone or something, but the two are touching. And the amazing thing about your spirit is that the spirit, the organs of the spirit reside in the soul. Now think about this. One of those organs is something that modern science has actually been able to pinpoint, and it's called the reticular activating system. And, and it's, it's part of your soul, but it is directly connected to your spirit. And whatever you believe, now think about this, whatever you believe, your, your soul can decide to believe. Then when, you're, when your soul decides to believe something, then it automatically, because of the reticular activating system, it automatically transfers that belief into your spirit. Now, your spirit is like a computer. I mean, it, it's very, uh, it's not neutral. It's, if you're born again, it is good. It's righteous, all right? But what I mean by this is it works. And whatever you believe, it sets out to accomplish automatically. Matter of fact, it not only sets out to do it, but it also draws to you, whatever you're believing. So if you're believing lack, guess what? It draws lack to you. Why? Because your spirit, okay, let me give you some proof. Jesus said that, he said, you've heard it said in the old days that you should uh, not, that, not to commit adultery. Isn't that right? Then Jesus said, but I say unto you that if you even look upon a woman to lust after. You have already committed adultery. Is that right? How is that? Why? Because looking has to do with the soul. But because your reticular activating system is connected to the spirit, once you look at it, it's as though you've done it. Why? Because your spirit can't tell the difference between what you watch and what you do. Okay, a lot of TV programs just went off. <laughs> see, whatever you watch, see, this is why movies have such a big impact. Right. Why? Because you sit there and watch it. And whenever, if you're watching an action movie, as a man, I don't care who the star is, right. it's you. You are the star. I don't care if you're, you know, Schwarzenegger. I'm going to have to go with new stars. I know because they're all getting older now. But I don't care who it is. You know, and, 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 and the, the woman there, uh, usually, you know, if you're married, is your wife. And you, every man wants to be a hero to his wife. Every man wants to be the knight in shining armor. And that's what they see. And, you know, they see themselves this certain way in the movies. And then when the women watch the romance movies, <laughs> the woman's always the woman that finds the guy. And then loses the guy. And then has to find the guy again. And that's, every movie is the same. There's no difference, right? It's always the same. But that's why when they watch that, you are living that with them. Why? Because your spirit can't tell the difference. Your spirit just hears those words. And it thinks, oh, that's what we're doing now. Because your, no, your spirit has no outward connection to the world except through your soul and through your eyes and ears and the five senses. And so that's why Jesus said, if you look upon, why? Because if you look upon, your reticular activating system can't tell the difference as to whether you've done it or not. And once you decide, this, that's why I taught a while back, what do you see? Because what you see is what you call to you. It's what you're thinking about. It's what you become. And your spirit goes, oh, that's what we're going for? Okay, let's do that. And it starts reaching out. And that's why, and it starts drawing things. Now, see, the world has discovered this. You know, they even have movies out about it and they have books out about it and different things like what is it, the secret and stuff like this and the, the law of attraction. See, they even have names for it. 